to do or to make is machen, machen. Machen. That's spelled M-A-C-H-E-N. And here we have friction on the C-H, machen. Machen. So it's only soft when we have an I before, like ich, mich, nicht. Or if we have an E before, like in, for example, brechen, which is to break, brechen. So we actually seeing another pattern here. This is English K to German CH. Make, machen, break, brechen, to speak, sprechen, sprechen. Good. So when we have a CH with an I or an E before, it's soft. When we have another vowel before it, it's hard with friction, like in machen. How would you say, I'm making it? Ich mache es. Ich mache es. Or with the contraction, ich mach's. Ich mach's. Good. So we could have ich mache or ich mach for I make or I'm making. How would you say, you make, speaking formally? Sie machen. Sie machen. How would you say, you make, speaking informally, using du? Du machst. Du machst. Good. What are you doing? Was machst du? Was machst du? This can mean what are you doing and also what do you do, like as a job, for example. What do you do? Was machst du? Are you going to do it tomorrow? Will you do it tomorrow? Are you doing it tomorrow? Machst du es morgen? Machst du es morgen? Are you going to do it tomorrow? Will you do it tomorrow? And the du and the s, they can contract. Machst du es morgen? So du and s can contract to du's. Machst du es morgen? What are you doing there? Was machst du da? Was machst du da? What was I want? Ich will. Ich will. And you want, talking informally? Du willst. Du willst. Very good. Slightly irregular. We have will and willst. I can. Ich kann. Ich kann. Ich kann. Much better. You can, informally. Du kannst. Du kannst. What was to must or to have to? Müssen. Müssen. I must. Ich muss. Ich muss. So slightly different. We're not keeping the O with the dots. We have an O without the dots. Ich muss. You must keeps the irregularity in the same way as we saw with Ich will, du willst. Ich kann, du kannst. Ich muss. Du musst. Good. Du musst. Du musst. Good. So that's also irregular. It's more subtle. The irregularity, no? Because it's just the difference between a U with the two dots and a U without those two dots. But we see the same irregularity happening. Ich kann, du kannst. Ich will, du willst. Ich muss, du musst. How would you say you have to do it? Du musst es machen. Good. Du musst es machen. Or you could also contract that must and that s. It's a little bit complicated to think out musts, but it can happen. Du musst machen. Du musst machen. Du musst es machen. The word for soon is bald. Bald. Soon. Bald. That means soon. Bald. You have to do it soon. Du musst es bald machen. Machen. Very good. Du musst es or du musst, if you contract that s and the must, bald machen. Du musst es bald machen. Du musst bald machen. Good. So we noticed that the verbs that are irregular for I, they're keeping this irregularity for du as well. Ich will, du willst. Ich kann, du kannst. Ich muss, du musst. But generally, we're working from the to form of the verb, removing the en and then adding our st to get our informal u. So to organize is? Organisieren. Good. And you organize? Du organisierst. Du organisierst. To sing? 
Zingen. Zingen, good, with a Z sound for that S. Zingen, spelled S-I-N-G-E-N, but that S we pronounce like a Z. Zingen. You sing? Du singst. Du singst. Do you sing? Singst du? Singst du? To accept was spelled A-K-Z at the beginning. Z in German we said are pronounced T-S. So the beginning bit of that word might be a bit challenging. Accept. Ah, no, akzeptieren. Akzeptieren. Do you accept it? Accept. So you must do it slowly. When you have a challenging word like this, it's a very nice experience of having to slow yourself right down to get your head around it. Accept. So when you come across that point of insecurity... Just go back to the two form. Be very sure what is the two form. Huh? Accepties dues. Very good. Or accepties des. No, dus. Very good. Very good. Accepties dus with the contraction or accepties dues. Very good.